Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to today's vlog. Um, I'm actually gonna start off today's vlog with a little get ready with me. Um, my camera's kind of like in a weird place in my bathroom. I'm still figuring out like best angles and stuff for lighting. Um, but um, I wanted to share with you my like latest foundation routine, but I didn't really feel like filming a full sit down and get ready with me. Um, but I also have a lot that I want to chat about. So, um, I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, which I've had for a really long time. Um, but I've barely made, like, a little dent. See, my mirror is, like, facing that way. My camera's here, and hopefully it works. Um, I've had it for a really long time, but I barely do my makeup these days, so I have a lot of it left. So, I, I had a bunch of like topics I wanted to talk about and then I forgot all of them. First off, new foundation routine. I've been using this Lancome Taint Idol Foundation, which is a little dark for me. And I've been mixing it with this Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, which is a little light for me. And it makes the perfect foundation. The Lancome is like full coverage. The Stay Naked is like medium to light coverage. When you mix them together, it's like the perfect amount of coverage for a glam look. And then I've been mixing just a drop of this um, Makeup Revolution Unicorn Elixir. I got this on sale at Ulta and it's very glittery. It has like blue and pink and purple sparkles in it. If you don't like your face to look sparkly, it's not for you, but I love a good amount of glitter. And especially like now during summertime, when the sun hits your face, it just shines. So I just like put a pump of the Lancome. Ooh, it sounds kind of stormy outside. A pump of the Urban Decay Stay Naked. A drop of the Unicorn Elixir. Mix it all together. And then just put it on and blend it in with a sponge. Um, and that's my foundation routine that I've been doing lately when I have been doing makeup. And I don't know, it's fun. The Unicorn Elixir stuff is fun. It's kind of like a, not knockoff, but um, what's that other brand? I can't think of it right now, but it's like a higher end brand that sells beauty drops. Um, and I've just been really liking it. Tonight, my husband and I are going to have a little date night in. Um, it's Friday night and I don't know, we just haven't like, we haven't had a good date night lately. Um, I think our last date night was when we still lived in Seattle. Uh, if you guys are new, um, we just moved to Texas from Seattle and I think our last date night was when we were still in Seattle and we would get the like HelloFresh boxes. And whenever we get HelloFresh boxes, my kids are picky eaters and also like getting the box for a whole family is kind of expensive. So we just get the two person plan every once in a while, like maybe a couple times a year. And whenever we do that, we'll feed the kids something easy like frozen chicken nuggets and mac and cheese or something. And then we will have a little, we'll feed them first. And then after they go to bed, we'll make the HelloFresh and have a little date night. So we did that a couple months ago. That was like our last at home date night. We've been having to like, get creative with date nights since um covid and everything and so tonight we're gonna get texas roadhouse to go um and then after the kids go to bed we're gonna have a little date night eat texas roadhouse watch a movie and yeah so that's what i'm getting ready for i'm getting ready for a night in this morning i got starbucks for the first time in a while i think i've only gotten starbucks like maybe four times since March since we started social distancing um and for me that is kind of a big deal because I drink Starbucks a lot I was getting Starbucks like a minimum once a week before like I would usually um when I go to the grocery store I'd stop and grab a Starbucks and that was like my weekly adventure and just haven't been doing it much lately um but I got a Starbucks today. I'll insert like a clip of it because it was so beautiful. It was a Cocoa Cloud Macchiato. And when I got it, I realized that um, 
This entire summer, I haven't gotten a green tea lemonade at all. And green tea lemonades used to be my like thing. Every season I have like kind of a go-to drink. Um, so like fall time, I'm all about pumpkin spice lattes. Christmas time, all about peppermint mochas. Then around Valentine's Day, like from Christmas to Valentine's Day, I usually get white chocolate mochas with raspberry. And then summertime, I'm all about the green tea lemonades. And I, have, I always try new drinks as well, but like I just drink Starbucks so much that I can try the new drinks and get my usuals. And like just kind of an idea of how seldomly I've been drinking Starbucks. Like I still have gift cards from my birthday in February that I haven't used yet. But um, the whole reason for this rant is I got it today and um, pumpkin spice lattes come out I think next week and I'm probably going to include next week in today's vlog. So probably within this vlog I'll be getting my first pumpkin spice latte again. Um, I'm also trying Walmart delivery, grocery delivery for the first time um, tomorrow. So I'll let you know how that goes. The delivery price was like $8.00. Um, sometimes, like for, I guess, I'm guessing busy times of the day was $10, but for most of the times of the day it was only $8, and I feel like that's really not that bad compared to like how much you pay for like Grubhub and Uber Eats and Postmates and all of those. I feel like eight bucks for like your entire grocery order, which is like a week and a half to two weeks worth of groceries. I don't think that's that bad. So I will of course let you guys know how that goes. Um, I've been doing all my grocery pickup for over a year now and I love it. It is just so convenient. I was doing it even before COVID happened and like if you have kids, especially if you have babies or toddlers and it's hard for you to get around the grocery store without a meltdown, like it is just the best thing in the world. I started it when I was pregnant with my youngest because I was just so nauseous that I dreaded going to the grocery store because doing literally anything that I had to move, um, I get so sick. So I started doing it then and I've been doing it since and in our old area, um, delivery wasn't an option, but now delivery is an option. So I'm really excited um, to see how tomorrow goes with that. Usually like by this time of year, I am all about fall time. Like usually mid-August, my fall decorations are either up or I am ready to put them up. And I feel like this year, just like, I, I feel like we haven't even had much of a summer because the summer we did have was spent moving. And now it's like hard to believe it's already over. Plus we've just been like staying inside all summer. Not staying inside, but you guys know. It hasn't been a normal summer. So I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be putting out fall decorations as early this year. Also, since I'm not like going to stores and browsing, I don't know if I'm gonna be buying anything new. And then also like usually during fall, not fall time, but like beginning of school season. Oh, I forgot my eyebrows. I usually do eyebrows before eyeshadow. Usually I'll do like a bunch of back to school hauls, but this year is just so different. Um, won't be doing any of those. Won't be doing any like fall hauls. And I just don't know what to do on my channel. Plus in the summer, I had so many ideas for this summer. But then like the move, because I was so busy moving, like I didn't get to do any of the ideas I had for this summer. And now for fall time, I'm just like totally blank out of ideas for fall. So I don't know, maybe I'll be doing a lot of fall makeup looks or something. Since it's easy, it's something I can do for, from home. I've been really like wanting to go shopping. Um, at Ulta or Sephora, like, place an online order, but at the same time, like, I have so much makeup. There's really nothing I need. I just want, like, that feeling, that gratification of placing an order, waiting for it, it getting to your door. I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup, and then I'll show you 
what I look like before a little date night. Okay, so at home date night OOTD, I have this dress. I got this on Amazon. I actually wore this for my 21st birthday. It says Dior on it when you look closely. It's just like a pink floral. It's like a spandex material, so it's really stretchy, perfect for just being at home. No shoes, because we're just at home. Makeup, eyeshadow I used the Jaclyn Hill palette for. I have a rose quartz bracelet, a little rose gold bangle from Amazon on the inside. I've showed this before, um, but on the inside, engraved is keep fucking going i love that um and then i have this pink movement watch uh, that was said to be in pr a few years ago these earrings which are they're from target uh they're that brand that's like made by bobble bar but it's like targets the the bobble bar they sell by target um, my hair is just messy waves from, I curled it a couple days ago, so I just threw in some dry shampoo and brushed it out. Um, and I think I'm going to put a necklace on. Then I'm just going to wear my rose gold mama necklace for from Amazon. Um, I just basically wanted an excuse to get dressed up. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how it is. So I had an excuse to get dressed up for a while. So, yeah, there's my little at-home date night OOTD to eat Texas Roadhouse and watch a movie. Okay, so hi guys, it's Saturday. We just had groceries delivered. It was so easy. They text you when they're on your way. Um, they send you like a link to track your driver. They put all the groceries on your front doorstep and then they ring their doorbell right before they leave. It was the easiest thing ever. Totally worth the $8 fee. Um, but I thought I'd show the fun stuff. First off, there are these new sweet biscuits from Pillsbury. They also had chocolate chip, but um, my Walmart was out of the chocolate chip, so they did a substitution with a second blueberry because I ordered one chocolate, one blueberry, but this is totally fine. I don't know if they're meant to be like a dessert or a breakfast. I think we're going to be having them for breakfast though, um, and they just sound so yummy. They have icing. They come with eight biscuits. Yum. Um, and then we're also just going to do Frito pie tonight. Our meals this week, the three that I have planned are Frito pie, lasagna, and mini pizzas so a lot of comfort food this week and then this is um one of my favorite like dip brands i could never find this in seattle but now that we're in texas i've been able to find it again but it's gandy's they have green chili french onion these are they might have others but these are just my favorite and then i also did grocery delivery for all of my son's school supplies we are doing online learning at least for the beginning of this year um and so i just put all of these in the delivery cart delivered right to our door with our groceries super easy and actually with the notebooks and folders his school like didn't specify colors not that it really matters because he's at home anyways but they just said he needs four notebooks and three folders so i just put four notebooks, three folders in our cart and they got different colors for each one and I thought that was so kind of them because like honestly I just figured like he's gonna end up with four black notebooks and we'll just like put a label sticker on them or something but this was so whoever picked out our groceries thank you so much for this I just feel like the colors make it so much more fun to learn and it was also just super convenient for me because then I didn't have to load up the kids get them in their masks, take them to the grocery store, um, and go school supply shopping. And then everything else, these bottom ones, he didn't really need for the school year because like we have crayons at home, we have markers at home, we have glue at home already. But I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna get him some new ones just for him because all the other ones that we have are like for the whole family. I'm gonna get some that are specific for doing schoolwork so he can put them in like a little pencil box or bag or something on his desk we've got markers erasers crayons glue 
number two pencils, pencil sharpener, and scissors. And these scissors actually come with like a little protector, which is nice. So yeah, that's the fun stuff for today's grocery haul. Good morning. So it's like super early. I went to Dunkin' because it says that um, their pumpkin spice is back today. Um, it even says it on the app, but my Duncan didn't have pumpkin stuff yet. So I just got a caramel latte. I would say better than McDonald's, not as good as Starbucks though. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but they're not, Seattle doesn't have Dunkin' Donuts. And where I grew up, we did have Dunkin' Donuts, but I feel like when I was growing up, Dunkin' didn't really have like fancy coffees. It was like you get your donuts and if you got a coffee, you just got a black coffee. So I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like their like lattes and macchiatos and stuff are fairly new. Um, so I just got an iced caramel latte and a dozen donuts. Um, and I guess we'll try again for pumpkin on another day. I really wanted to try it, but I did try their coffee. I think I'm still a Starbucks girl though, but yeah, um, I'll show you the donuts when we get inside. Hi everybody, so it's now Monday. I have my washing machine going and my dishwasher going, so it might be kind of loud in here, but um, back in whenever Disney closed, they released their Disneyland grilled cheese recipe online. So I'm gonna try it out today. You're gonna make two different mixtures. This is like the inside mixture. It's one uh, stick of cream cheese, one cup of shredded cheddar. I didn't have shredded cheddar, so I just used Colby and Monterey Jack. And then four teaspoons of cream and half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna, I have that in my mixer. I'm gonna mix this. And while that is mixing, I'm gonna do the like outer mixture. And for this one, it is one cup of mayo, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of minced garlic. But I like garlic um, a lot, I think most people do. So I used a full teaspoon of garlic. Okay, so we use whole wheat bread for the most part. So that's what it's on. Um, the recipe actually calls for two slices of provolone, two slices of cheddar. So this one's mine, but I feel like that's a lot of cheese for kids. So I just did one slice of provolone, one slice of cheddar for the kids' sandwiches. Then you take the cream cheese mixture and put it in the middle. And just spread it out. So now they look like that, gonna close them up. And then you put the mayo garlic mixture on the outside and fry them up. Now we've got them on the stove. All right, so here's mine. I definitely recommend doing it how I did the kids with only one slice of cheese because mine is gonna be so messy. The cheese is literally oozing out. So some people might like it like that. That's a bit too much for me. And then gonna have it with some watermelon. Just like that. So yeah, that is our lunch. All right, so just a little check-in. Um, I didn't like it. It was way too salty. I would recommend because I think in total you end up adding an entire teaspoon of salt because you do half a teaspoon in each of the mixtures. It's way too much. It made it way too salty. The kids loved it. Way too much salt for me, but I think I'm going to try it again this time without the extra salt. Do everything the same. Just only do one slice of each of the cheeses on mine and no extra salt in the mixtures. So that's a little update. And uh, yeah. All right, I just made some blueberry lemonade for the kids. It's actually blackberry lemonade. It's this crystal light. Um, but I just put some real lemon slices and blueberries in it. And they look super, super pretty. Okay, so I've got a little Amazon haul. The first is this bracelet. I don't know how well you can see, but it has a soul bound engraved in it, which is a World of Warcraft reference. So I got that and it came in this little red bag. Um, I don't know what the letters stand for. Then I got this Mother of Dragons um, shirt, which is of course from Game of Thrones. I got it in red, but they had other colors. I actually got red because it was the cheapest. It was only $11 and the other colors were $15. So I was like, why not save four bucks? 
So I got this, of course, because it's a Game of Thrones reference, but also my youngest likes to, she's only nine months old and she likes to scream. So my husband and I always call her a little dragon. So this was just perfect. And then I also got this Punky Colors hair dye in flamingo pink. And I actually used it last night. I mixed it with conditioner. And I still need to do, I still need to do my hair, but, um, it's kind of like a pastel pink because I mixed it with conditioner to take it from hot pink to pastel because it is like a hot pink color. Um, but I'm going to style my hair now and I'll show you like what it looks like. I actually kind of like that, um, the, I think it was Colorista. Um, I liked that shade better than this. This one's more cool toned, I think. Um, but the reason I got punky colors is because it's cheaper and since you mix it with conditioner, this entire thing lasts longer. I only used like maybe half a teaspoon amount and mixed it with like a cup of conditioner. So it lasts longer. I also actually, let me show you the purple. This is in violet and I use this um, same thing. I mix it with conditioner to make it a light purple and I use that to tone my hair. So yeah. I think I might do purple next, um, but I've been really liking the pink lately, so I just wanted to redo the pink since it already washed out. All right, so hair is done. See what I mean by it's kind of like a cooler toned pink? Like it almost kind of looks a little purple to me. I definitely could have like mixed in less pigment and it would have had like more of a pastel look. Um, I don't know, I just like the other shade that I used a couple weeks ago better. But I'm still going to be messing around with this. Um, I'll probably be going back and forth between pink and purple for like a few months. I don't know, just because it's fun. And then here's the Mother of Dragons shirt. I got it in a medium, so it's a little baggy. But I just like that baggy fit lately. And yeah. I also just put on these like fake just stick on nails that I got off Amazon a couple weeks ago. I put on the bracelets that I wore on date night um, and I, I was trying to take some like Instagram photos but I don't know I just feel like my hand looks like super long. It just like looks awkward in the photos. I don't know but here's the color it's like um I think the color is lilac and they were like $5.99, $6. I have a bunch of different colors and yeah, okay, the flies are bugging me out here so I'm gonna go inside. Hi guys, so it's the next day. It's freezing in my house so I have a hoodie on and I'm also drinking a Sonic Cherry Coke. Sonic Cherry Cokes are so good because they like mix them themselves. The cherry syrup and whatnot, so delicious. But I am just going to start organizing my makeup drawer. I had this in the closet. But I feel like um, if I have it in the bathroom, even though it's kind of inconvenient because it blocks off this drawer, um, I feel like if I have it in here, I'll be more likely to actually use the stuff in there. And Because I also have this on my bathroom counter, which is like current stuff I'm using. And I usually switch it out every now and then. But um, I feel like if I just have it all right here, I'm more likely to use other stuff. And then I won't necessarily need to switch it out because everything will be right here. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I don't think we're doing much this weekend. So yeah, just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.